I want to uh, touch a little bit on the Morgellon mites. Uh, this person asks uh, what the, the, they are and what the black specs are. And um, uh, this this thing is all over uh, YouTube. Uh, um, it's um, um, I don't know if it's found only in the U.S. because the people posting uh, the videos are mainly in the U.S. Um, but when I compared it to uh, the, um, the women uh, in the Somalian videos who are possessed, they pretty much show the same characteristics. Um, it's the scratching because um, that's what creates these uh, wounds. Uh, they look like some kind of spiral bites, but uh, it, they, they, they actually they appear as a result of scratching or uh, the, maybe the, the itching being too strong and bursting the skin. I'm gonna post a Somalian woman who's got this things, uh, this thing all over her face. I don't know if she scratched or if the thing basically itself basically was uh, uh, created these wounds. But my take on it is that uh, mine, I did not scratch mine, and they actually receded after uh, a couple of days. So I don't know if they're scratching or if they actually are. But you know, some people say that they actually uh, they it's they the things that are creating uh, these wounds themselves, and that they're not scratching. Uh, the point is, it's if you scratch, you create the wounds, uh, like the like smallpox. If you scratch it, the, but smallpox already creates these wounds. Uh, but in any case, my point is, if you scratch in here, because the ones that I had did not burst out of the skin. If I scratched, yes, the, the, you would take off the skin. And so uh, I got mine when I got bumped into by two Somalians uh, in a in a bus station. It was a woman and a man. And um, I got what they call the kudegis. Kudegis means the tagging. They tag you with this parasite. And uh, from then on, basically, I, I, the shit hit the fan for me. Um, I started, you know, the body got, I got very, very itchy. The back got itchy. Then the head got itchy. And then the heat came out of the head. And uh, at some point, basically, uh, I started hearing these entities. It was three. Um, it was a female and two, actually, uh, males. The, the males were children. And um, the, they seemed dumb and stupid. The females seemed very smart and conniving. And um, they, really attacked, they, they really attacked me. And what happened was something came out of the ground something that was like spider or some kind of a, a pet or some kind of a it had claws and this is the motherfucker that creates the morgellon in any case that's how i see it i don't know how other people actually uh, get it but in the u.s they say um it's the government uh, spraying a uh, chemical in the air or, or the sea or the waters and they don't have none of that in somalia so uh, I don't know how they actually uh, get it again in the U.S., but my my take is like it's it's carried by these uh, sentient uh, parasites, and I don't know how they actually uh, go from being uh, a black black type of liquid in the sky to turning into these sentient entities, and and, and so my point is, it is a sentient entity, and. The moment it attached to the leg, the leg, my leg basically became uh, uh, curled. It basically distorts. It basically crushes the, the the body. Like in the movies, people see the exorcism and all that where the, the body twists. That's exactly what it does to the body. If it comes close to the body, the body completely twists uh, because it doesn't like that uh, energy of that 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 things energy and so in order to, uh, but when and i said stop and it stopped and then later on it jumped into the, my body it jumped into it crawling in my back and then got into the head but the body did not actually uh, distort at that at that moment so something must have actually i don't know if it it's able to tune in its energy or something is but my guess is like something else was with it it's the magnetic one the the, the one that, that looks feels the water <laughs> And that's probably that's the one that actually heats it up, because uh, uh, there is two of these motherfuckers. There's, 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 
nanobot nanobot type the green or the sand type this is the one that's very very jittery that creates the electricity type of feel feeling and then there is the um the magnetic one the water one that gives this motherfucker the heating it needs and then the cushing to actually penetrate the body <laughs> or you can see them as if you want as the, you know the smokeless fire there's the fire and the smoke and then the smoke is the probably the electricity the fire is uh, is, uh, is the magnetic is the heating the plasma type of thing but it is a separate uh the energies uh it's not like in the in the, in the muslim world they tell you it's one so they tell you smokeless fires they tell you it's one and then when they show you these little genies can you know these like cartoonish thing it's smoke at the bottom at the top it says it's fire it's not actually like that actually in, in fact the smoke part is the most nastier part and this is the, the most the strong one <laughs> and this is the uh the it looks like they flipped the, the, the script uh, actually the the smoke is the most uh important one this is what they call the the mind parasite this is what they call the the the, the, the one that basically turns the motherfucker into a cycle and all kinds of crazy shit uh, i probably believe and, and i think this is probably the, the um, you know the the, uh, the the you know the the, the shadow people or what um, what that what's that lady called uh um that lady that said you know the gene connection basically concluded yes uh, that it's, it's this gene but it, it's actually the shadowy the smoky part that is very important unlike what they are telling us the fire part uh, uh so in any case it is this smoky part that basically comes out of the body this is the thing that actually wanna uh you know uh take over the body or type of thing and the the the, uh, the the energy part actually was uh was all was okay at some point but then later on some they pulled something out of my body and then dumped uh an, a, a different one or something i don't know something else entered my heart chakra and then they dumped on me some really really uh, big huge plasma type of thing almost like a blanket type uh, and then covered me with that thing and then it burst the entire body into uh, like it was hot it was extremely extremely hot and I could, it, it almost like it takes you to a like it's hell type of thing and so i had to go to uh, to the hospital and so this is probably how they when they talk about hell and then they're burning people this is probably what they actually they mean but what i'm saying is like of the two because the the magnetic one when initially it came uh, around it was normal it was not heating but the other one was always nasty and so at some point they basically join and then they basically get into the body and so in this video so as i said you see the somalian woman's got these uh, scars on her face caused by these parasites and in here this is uh, the father of one of the yemenis who actually came in from yemen and to and they settled in somalia in buddy you can see his face has the same scars but i don't think this uh, motherfucker was infected it's the uh, it's the it's, it's he he is the infection and uh, and don't tell me these are like some kind of um, sunburns and so uh, these things uh, like Kirito Mutua talked about these things and he said uh, they had to eat them and one of them the, the god the skin of the god and then they got infected and in, in the US they say a cop basically was carrying some kind of a gray and he got infected so these these things got these parasites on their skin but that parasite itself is sentient uh, so in the video that I added the noon they saying these guys were infected by some kind of an AI and they actually are fighting back or something some say they are infected by this AI so I don't know but my point is um, uh, I don't know if these motherfuckers was fire at some point and then they got attached this smoky part and they turned evil or something I don't know but it is two of these motherfuckers and then they are attached to each other they combine each other to become the the, the entity they call the gene in, in, in itself 
and that's how they actually uh, they move and when initially uh when the the, the attack when the the, the 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 tugging happened i saw some of these motherfuckers coming inside the house and then they basically the first place they hit was the back of the head actually uh the back of the head to attach some kind of a thing to the back of the head and then your eyes basically uh get these uh like the the, the hollywood movie shows uh it's not actually a black ink that covers all the whole eye no it's basically little strings that basically circle it in the eye so and then you see flickering in the eye as if they are either adjusting or taking over your sight or the light you see basically the illusion actually that the adjusting the illusion type of thing and it is it's it it it, it basically it itches uh and then when, every time that i looked at the eye there was no hair in the eye it's just that these strings were inside the eye and then they move inside the eye like like how like hollywood actually uh portrays it and so they basically took over the body but as i said it's actually two of these motherfuckers some say they, they are four using the four elements but you know they probably two the four become two at some point so i don't know how it works but that's that's my take on it and it looks like uh, when they attacked me and uh, the one of the uh well, thing they told me was like okay if yeah i wanted these things to go away that i had to come back to the muslim god allah and all those crap and you know at some point they told me they were the angel of death and, you know all the all the basically what these uh, middle eastern uh satanic cult tell you actually uh uh to actually uh you know believe in and then using their cult you know it's the, it's the death cult if you want to be saved you have to believe in their uh god who is by the way one of these gene big ass genes um and basically they feed on you um i think what from what i heard when i was like uh in the in the cult it's like the, they tell you these things attached to you young and then they grew with you that's what they said so my my i think when they get inside you a very small they they smoke as they feed on you they become big and that's when the fire basically the plasmic part becomes basically uh prominent uh, i don't know i think they either collecting your experiences or something like that because uh, the fire the, the the smoke part is not it's a plasma i can record information as they tell you these magnetic tapes and these magnetic uh, discs and all that so it's the plasmic part that probably keeps the, the information you know the middle eastern have this notion where these things record your actions and that allah is gonna at some point judge you and all that all those things and so this thing basically feeds on you like a vampire and it's the uh the plasmic part that increases I don't think it's the smoke part that increases um the smoke part probably is there to actually agitate the person make the person hyper crazy paranoid a psycho and then the magnetic part basically records the actually the, the result or the data and at some point they basically once they kill you they basically take the data and then shoot you back in here for reincarnation or something like that but in any case it's real and so it it's the, the morgellon in itself it's a living uh, entity it's a sentient entity that that's what i believe it could also be a virus um but it's much listen i i don't know what it is but it's probably something that was created by some kind of a, a, a gene type like yolda bayoff like that thing looks like a, a gene the head the top is fire type and the bottom is it looks like a, a, basically the smoke part of a gene so these things are real so this is what they actually want us to actually uh worship and like the the lady said the uh, you know they love adoration you have to worship these parasites and this is what they actually are spreading that's exactly what it is it's like if you look at the yellow field it's a parasite it's a mind parasite it's like it's the fire at the top and then the the you know the the smoky snake at the bottom and this is what they probably these entities are when you see the you know the the, the dragon the, all the ugly parts and all it's probably the the you know the smoky part and then you got the fire inside of the of that that thing so um call it i don't know seraphine shadim they can shape shift they can change into any kind of uh, shape but at the bottom it there's always two of these motherfuckers 
and so i don't know but there's some say it's four entities actually aliens fighting over this planet uh, but when when you look deep deep this it's actually two of these motherfuckers and that's what they actually uh, what's probably actually we're dealing with uh i don't know which one is actually the boss i don't know which one is a female which one is a male but when i heard them the, the female was the boss and uh, the males were some kind of a subservient little kids so uh go figure but uh this thing is is a sentient i mean i don't know where it's coming from but uh it is sentient uh, and it is very it's highly highly parasitic and it is attached to, to uh like you know like added uh, you know it, it's it is attached to some kind of a, an ethnic group uh it's attached to uh, the the semitic ethnic group um you know I'm not being racist i'm just stating the facts yes it is actually attached to to uh, to that group and uh, if you want to believe in this the, it looks like they're running this game and if you want to uh basically um you, you have to believe in their deities this parasite uh apparently if you want to be saved so that's what it is